Where are people moving when they leave Texas? What is going on? What are the trends? Why do people escape Texas and flee to other places? Where are they going? I'll tell you before I give you the list, top five places people are going, there's some very consistent themes across all the pl top places that people leave for. Cooler climates and generally speaking, outdoor activity, kind of of course, all these states have big cities in them, but a lot of the draw is to kind of the outdoor wide open spaces, which Texas has, but typically with a lot of heat coming with it. So number one on that list, this one does not surprise me at all, Colorado. Who doesn't love Colorado, right? So folks are escaping Texas for more of a true traditional all four seasons environment with snow and skiing and adventures and mountaineering and all of those incredible things. So Colorado coming in at number one, it's got to probably be near my top list of places I would go if I was leaving the great state of Texas, which I'm not and can't imagine that I ever would. But if I was leaving Texas, Colorado would probably be near my number one. Now there's another video on this channel that tells you what my true number one is if you really want to know. As we make our way down the list, number two, surprising, the state of Washington. Now, if you heard the intro, same deal. You got absolutely gorgeous landscapes, cooler climate, four seasons, makes a little bit of sense. You've got about $750 million in annual income, personal income, leaving Texas to the state of Washington. It was about $2 billion to Colorado, by the way. Now, if you didn't catch our other video on people moving to Texas, you can see the dollars going out are minimal compared to the dollars and the people coming in. So North Carolina comes in at number three on the list with about $450 million of Texan annual income heading out to North Carolina. Again, cooler climate, a little bit more uh, mild than some of the other names on the list. And you'll see our next one's probably the most comparable, but North Carolina coming in at number three as the, uh, the number three on the list of where people leave Texas to move to number four, we've got Tennessee. And that's what I would consider to be about the most comparable, um, lifestyle culture climate. Obviously there are different climates across, uh, Tennessee, but, um, that one doesn't surprise me if you're looking for, uh, kind of a, a slower, maybe smaller pace of things, but still a very similar lifestyle to Texas. Tennessee would probably be number one on my list. Number four on this list with about 370 million of adjusted gross income represented in the people leaving Texas and moving to Tennessee. Number five on the list, this one did surprise me, the state of Oregon. Obviously, if you got people loving the state of Washington, Oregon's probably going to be pretty comparable and pretty competitive as well. You've got about $213 million in Texan income and personal income from folks leaving the state of Texas, moving to Oregon. It's interested it's interesting when we look at the list and we see the amount of income, you know, that's represented in what people earn and put on their tax return. And those people leaving last year, they lived in Texas this year, they live in Oregon or whatever these other States are. Um, and that's powerful because it represents, you know, buying a home, you know, paying rent, paying taxes, funding, uh, you know, government spending or whatever the case is, however you want to look at that economic growth, all those things. Again, Texas is a massive net gainer of dollars and people, but it's interesting to look at where people are going. It seems to be motivated by lifestyle. This is just my kind of interpretation, less about job availability, any sort of industry shifting or politics of any kind. It seems to be pretty spread out in that it's folks going to cooler climates with more outdoor recreational activity. Texas has all of that, but Texas tends to be known for the heat. And if people were going to leave, they're probably leaving for smaller cities in smaller states with more attractive climates. That seems to be my read on things. When we look at the numbers of people leaving, again, down that same list of the top five places people leave Texas for, obviously Colorado was number one, 27,000-ish people left Texas for Colorado. By the way, I would say 27,000 people every day leave Texas for Colorado during ski season, but that was a permanent migration for people moving to. Uh, it's always funny to me. We I love going to Colorado. I really do. We go skiing in Colorado, and in the parking lot 
of the ski lodge, half the license plates are from Texas, right? It's it's about the best place to go and do that. So it makes sense that people would move there. Washington coming in, only about 8,400 people moved from Texas to Washington, and it was still number two on the list. So think about that. Just not that many people escaping Texas for any one state. 8,400 people moving to Washington. And then you look at Oregon, you've got just shy of 4,000 people. About 3,900 people left Texas for Oregon, which is really interesting. Now, the list changes a little bit when we when we take away dollars and we look at people. And number four surprised the heck out of me. D.C., Washington, D.C. came in at number four, beating obviously much larger population groups, beating whole states. You've got really just one city in Washington, D.C., but it's only 1,135 people. So, you know, you're not talking about tons of people bailing out of Texas to go to any one place. It's really spread out truly all over the world. And mostly people are moving here instead of moving away. But you got 1,135 people moving to D.C. And then Idaho comes in at number five on number of, you know, places people are going, number of people leaving. And that's only 374 people move from Texas to Idaho. Again, I would say because Idaho's gorgeous, And relative to the rest of the country, we've done a little research on this. Land values are somewhat affordable. Now, that's not necessarily true and, you know, up by big national parks and things like that. But um, again, I think people are typically leaving for um, more, you know, potentially more beautiful, but more four season, you know, climate, cooler climate type stuff. D.C. is a little bit of a wild card there. You never know that's political or job related. I don't know. Um, But a really, really interesting list. Where are people moving when they leave Texas? Those are the top five based on income. Those are the top five based on number of people leaving. I think the big takeaway here is not all that many people are leaving Texas and tons of them are moving here. So check out the video we did on where people are leaving to move to Texas and then check out the whole channel on all the reasons and all the places you might want to move to Texas. If you're moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we are a real estate brokerage. We'd love to help. I'll catch you on the next video.